in the spiritual overflow means out of the abundance of the spirit of God in your life others begin to give their life others are drawn to God people get healed because of you ordinary prayer people's wombs are open people are prevented from death that is more I mean that is overflow and for you to reach a point of overflow in life you need to increase more and more and more until you exceed your level the level of just holding it to yourself there's a level you have it cannot help another person it's just you it is only by faith you can now apply apply faith to bless another person because it is not enough for you but when you have exceeded what is required spiritually just to keep you alive as a child of God the next thing is that you will overflow in the office your colleagues now begin to see you as a transformer of the high tension of Jehovah and when transformer is dropped the neighborhood is lighted up that is what overflow does this is the vision the Holy Spirit put planted in my spirit over this Monday project that those who have nothing in their spirit those whose spiritual life zero if they would just come connect the the power the impartation of the Holy Ghost on Monday it will become a place of firing you up more and more and more and more and over time you reach a state of overflowing so that it can be said somebody who two three years before was living in fear two three years later is the reason why people are delivered from fear I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about this is the vision it means no matter the level you are the fireplace benefits you and what is the fireplace about the vision is central is in, at the center of the revelation of grace family I don't know if you can put the logo, logo I want to introduce something to you and we have the agenda of today the breakout if you look at the logo of grace family you will see at the base is the word of God the globe the globe is seated on the word of God the globe as big as it is is seated founded upon the word of God that means with the word of God we carry the globe we take the globe we can have we are expected and destined to affect every part and any part of the globe because it's seated it is by the word God made all things by the word all things are altered all things are healed all things are restored all things all things are affected because nothing was made nothing was made that was made nothing was made without the word of God it's nothing that was made without the word of God John chapter 1 and from verse 1 to 3 now if you look at that globe if you look at that globe you will see the seven gold gold and then red white red gold spots those are the seven fire those are the seven fire if you read the first two three four chapters up to the first two three one two three four five chapters of this of the book of of revelation you will encounter the mystery of the seven spirit you will encounter the mystery of the seven spirit and the scripture talks about the seven spirits of god sent into all the world that means with the word of god there is a mission of our life that with the word of god powered by the seven spirits of god you cannot remain small you cannot carry the seven spirit of god based on the word of god by which creation was brought forth you must be global so this house has a global identity not in any social inter social media internet and um, whatever um, what design or a projection or whatever it is a spiritual thing it's a spiritual thing so that's it so i'm talking about the seven fire the fireplace then is a place of the demonstration the place of engagement with the seven fire the engagement of the seven fire based on the revelation of the mystery of the word of god engaging the seven fire that will blow you up into global minds increasing more and more into overflowing and if you will not stop overflowing if you will not stop take me to take me to ezekiel chapter 47 let me share something about more and overflow ezekiel chapter 47 from verse 1 
one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me in the scripture is this revelation look at it then he brought me back to the door of the temple and there was water when you talk about water the spirit of god has about three four symbols in the scripture when we talk about symbols symbols are things that you see elements physical but representing what you don't see either a spiritual reality you don't see symbols representing what is not seen and these symbols usually depict what is not seen in a specific way so when we talk about this water water in the as a symbol of the holy spirit has a refreshing enlivening and you know and living and living enlivening whatever you call making life water brings life water brings flourishing water brings fruitfulness water brings lush water brings about green great brings about vegetation growth brings about prosperity so the, and it brings about purification so the holy spirit is represented in the scripture in basic symbols as air or wind the first one in genesis chapter one and in verse three in verse two rather is the holy spirit rohak as wind as breath as storm so the breath the wind the storm representing the holy spirit we don't have time to, this is not a teaching ministry but just to let you know the holy spirit is also represented as water the holy spirit is represented as dove the holy spirit is represented as fire so you can see the wind the holy spirit is represented as oil so these are basic symbols of the holy spirit oil fire water dove and what breath and air okay so with that we can look at this then he brought all of these elements reveal a dimension of the mystery of the holy spirit when you talk about that oil there is something miss the mystery of the holy ghost in oil. then you have to study what oil does naturally what oil represents naturally and transport that and discover the holy ghost brings that in the spiritual place oil is used was used in the ancient to anoint kings no king in the scripture came into being without anointing so anointing represents ordination impartation anointing oil used for healing so is healing it, it connects the healing mystery of the holy spirit oil is beautification when people are mourning they don't use oil but when people are celebrating all is applied so the oil represents the mystery of celebration in the holy spirit the spirit the mystery of gladness i don't know what i'm communicating <laughs> sorry sorry it's just abundant abundant okay then he brought me back to the door of the temple and there was water water flowing from under the threshold of the temple toward the east listen to this for the front of the temple face is the water was flowing from under the right side of the temple pay attention to this the water flowing from the right side of the temple the temple is is a physical representation of the presence of god the house of god the presence of god and the altar the altar is the place of encounter you could call it you could call the the place of meeting altar used for sacrifice because sacrifice means a communion between the one who offers the sacrifice and the one to whom the sacrifice is made so altar here you can you can say in a loose way representing god himself the place of god where man connects god through his gifts and the scriptures say at the right side of it and jesus christ is at the right hand of the father and the and the holy spirit comes to us flowing through him he is the way the truth and the life until he came the holy spirit was not given generally he is the one he said i will ask the father and the father will give you am i communicating so the right hand here represents <laughs> symbolizes and represents the mystery of the sonship and the source and the way and the path and the the authority by which we receive the holy spirit now move that move that to the next verse 
know that he brought me out by the way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gateway that faces east and there was water running out of the right side now this water that flows from the right side of the altar is beginning to go to somewhere it's beginning to go to somewhere this water because if water keeps running and will not stop water will get to somewhere Oh, no, no. Do you know that? Let water, even if it is your, your shank, your wash and basin, and water is flowing, and maybe it is locked, so it's not going down. Let it just keep flowing. One, it is a matter of time. If it is not stopped, that water will come out of the house. Eventually, it will get to the street. It will travel to wherever and collect until it can. Until it is stopped, it can never stop. That's the mystery of water. It travels. So pay attention. Pay attention to the mystery. And it brought me through the... Now see. And when the man went out to the east with a line in his hand, measurement. He did something. He measured 1,000 cubits. He measured 1,000 cubits. And he brought me through. Before the water was just flowing... Just normal water, like you will see it flow. But the man had a measuring rod. And he went and measured 1,000 cubits. And he said, okay, come through the water. And the water came up to what? Ankle. Can you, do you, can you identify your ankle? The water has moved from just running on the floor, on the ground. Rising and having a width and a depth to the level of the ankle. But it started as water flowing from the right side of the altar. Two, one mystery here. No, two mysteries here. Number one, the water does not stop. The reason why your life is epileptic, for anybody who sits down here, you rise and fall. For those who have even started. Or the reason you started, but you have not grown to a mind that can affect things around you and people around you. It's because you don't continue to flow. The second mystery is the measurement. The measurement here means intentional, intentionally playing upon the water, intentionally acting upon the water, intentionally engaging the water, intentionally measuring the water. This is water flows normally, but the man is intentionally dealing with engaging the water. In engaging the water, the water rises. Now, this is the mystery of the life of the Spirit. Once you are born again, you are given the life of God, you flow. You can flow if it is just the normal flow. It will just collect. It will just go. It can take forever to, for it to move from here to reach, uh, to reach Abba or to reach Abia State. But the water will keep, or it can even empty into another river, and that's the end. But the point is that it is just on the floor, so it doesn't affect anybody. It doesn't affect. But the engagement of that water, so when we talk about fellowship, like this meeting, this is one of, this is the greatest way of measuring, of engaging the Holy Spirit, whether as fire, as water, as oil, as breath and as what? As the dove. The only way, the secret way of engaging the Holy Spirit, which the scripture talks about as measuring here, the primary way is fellowship. Fellowship. Whether it's personal fellowship in worship, in prayer, in fasting, or communal worship, communal fasting, communal prayer. That of individual are very powerful. But when you join with others, it explodes. It explodes. It increases. It multiplies. So they seek the reason why many people encounter the Holy Spirit. And it does not rise from just the floor level to the level that it can wet people's feet. So that by the time people go through it, if you wash shoe, it will be soaked. Or you have to jump 
And if you are not careful, because of jumping, you miss your step and you fall into the water. The reason your water does not affect somebody is because there is no intentional engagement. Look at that scripture. I'm, I'm sharing mystery with you. This mystery has lived with me for years. This mystery has lived with me for years. He said, and when the man went out to the east, he measured 1,000 cubits and he brought me through. Something changed in the water. The volume changed. It, it increased. It has depth. Now it has depth. It has width. Now go to the next. And again, he measured 1,000. It does not stop there. He measures again. Engagement continuity. Engagement continuity. I have seen people come through the school of the Holy Spirit, get filled with the Holy Ghost and walk like <laughs> extraordinary beings. After six months, you can swear they never en encountered the Holy Spirit. Why? They disengage. The secret of the Holy Spirit is communion, is fellowship. If you will not disengage from fellowship, you will never stop running. And if you keep engaging intentionally, you will keep... So a house girl can rise to the commander that will change the whole territory where she's staying as a house girl. Come on, am I communicating? Yes. A house boy, a driver. You don't need to be a apostle. You don't need to be anything. You just need to carry the life of the Holy Spirit in you. You can increase to the point that you are relevant in every part of the world. Even if you don't travel there, that you can kneel down in your room and deliver a soul in Russia. You can kneel down in your room and God tells you what is wrong in Ukraine. God tells you what is wrong in Middle East. God will mention specific names. There is a woman in our midst, one of the ministers in our midst, a Christian was to be beheaded in a particular country, was in prison, and the judgment was coming. And the plan, the, what was predicted by everyone was that the person would be beheaded from one of the hostile countries against Christianity. And this person was a high-profile Christian. In the place of prayer, this our sister, one of our ministers, heard the name of this person. And this is like Arabic. This is in the Middle East. This is one of those Eastern places. Had the name for like three months. On like three months. Until she now got into praying about this. I, don't, I can't get the details of the story. Eventually, one of those days she went where she was working. The library, newspaper in a secondary school. They will bring newspaper dailies for people to look through. She just went and picked up one of the newspapers of the day. The headline was the release of this person who was to be executed. Now, what is happening here is that God trusted because this person is daily engaging and is growing in depth. The depth could now contain somebody who is about to die somewhere else. I don't know. You know, when you talk about depth, it means something else can stay inside. That means something else can be buried inside. That's it. That's what increase means in the Holy Spirit. You can increase. Many wives sit down. They don't have a depth to take their children spiritually. They don't have depth to take their husbands spiritually. Many husbands sit here. They don't have the depth to take their wives. And everybody depends on... It's not everything pastor or prophet will see. There are things that depend on your personal authority. That you grow in depth, you grow in width, you grow in height to the point that your husband is contained in, your, in the depth of your anointing. By that you cover that the day of evil is not seen, it's not known. Nobody even knew that was the day evil was to strike. Why? Because of your intentional, daily, consistent engagement, you are increasing in width. You are increasing in depth such that something can be contained in you. When you talk about containing, you know, you say we, you cannot contain that thing. You cannot contain the fire. You can, that means if something can contain the fire, the fire will no longer burn. I don't know. Am I communicating? Rise and speak in the Holy Spirit. I want you to get this mystery. This is an anniversary gift. I will tell you why this mystery is coming to you now. I didn't plan this. All of this is happening now. Rise. Say, say Lord, I want, I connect this mystery. 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 Speak in the Holy Spirit. Say, Lord, make this mystery known to my spirit. 
make this mystery known to my heart. Say, Lord, make this mystery known to my spirit. Make this mystery known to my heart. Make this mystery known to my life. Make it familiar. Say, Lord, make this mystery familiar. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Be seated, be seated, be seated. Please treasure this. I'm sharing secret. Every mighty man of God on earth, if he's truly a man of God and he has risen from somewhere and becomes global in impact, this is the only secret he has. Every other secret is around here. There is no man who has increased in might in God from the time of Elijah to the time of Patrick standing here. There is no woman who increases in might in God. Ask Moses. God says, I know him personally. I know him as friend. That's familiarity. He's so engaging. He's been so engaging such that it is, he's so familiar in the heavenly world. And the heavenly world is so familiar to him because of persistent, consistent engagement. This is how a housewife could overrule territory, territories. And you say it's an ordinary housewife, yes. Does not have any job except taking care of children. But she oversees the territory. Nothing comes into the territory without her knowing. And nothing can happen without her permission. And the only secret is this. This engagement. This mystery. This mystery. Again, he measured 1,000. He brought me through. Again, he, he measured 1,000 and, and brought me through the waters. Now, what has happened to the water? The water came up to where? My knees. At that point, it means you were wearing trousers, you are now soaked. Or you begin to fold up. That means for you to cross, you cannot cross and not be affected. This is a mystery of nobody being able to steal from your house spiritually. This is a mystery that nobody can snatch your daughter, snatch your son, snatch your wife, snatch your husband, snatch your business. He said, my business crumble. That means somebody came through. There, there was not even waiting. Somebody was not even wet. Somebody was not even affected. It means you were as it means you don't exist spiritually. This is this is a mystery. This is a mystery. This is a mystery. That means your, your territory, once you cross into somebody's territory, you know you have crossed into a dangerous area and you go back, you go right back. Because this water is not ordinary water. If it's the Holy Spirit, it's the water that is against hell and hell cannot connect it. I don't know. Am I communicating? Yeah. It means, it means liquid fire. When there is volcanic erupt eruption, things will flow. You can call it water, it's not. It's fire that is liquid. And it's the, one of the most dangerous things on earth. It kills everything. It destroys everything except itself. The only thing that can survive and prosper there is itself. Any other thing. Let a lion jump in, you cannot jump out. Anything, an elephant will end there. Anything will end there. Let a helicopter crash into that volcanic eruption and lava that's that is, is a serious issue so when we say the holy ghost is like water it's not like the water you know is a it is it's representing something that means the nature cannot be contacted by satan by evil agent and the secret of it is flowing from ordinary so when we say in grace family god is turning ordinary people into what champion the secret the only secret is constant engagement with the flowing liquid of God, the Holy Ghost. If you pay attention to what we do in the Grace Family, in, the, in our service, we will not start any service without beginning with a ministration of the Holy Spirit in tongues and in singing. Song to the Holy Spirit. Without that ministry, service cannot start. This is a revelation. This is the secret of what I do. 
This is a secret way I can, that if I don't have time to prepare for revelation, I can come right to this altar and I take revelation. What I'm sharing with you here is taken here. It's the agenda of the day. I have prayed. I have sat with God by the grace of God. The intention was not to ask him, give me word. I don't need to receive a word in advance. When I arrive at the spot, I know there is an agenda. As I open the file, I see. And this is what I've seen. It's a secret of ease. It's a secret. Why? <laughs> On a normal week, grace and inspiration has a different stream. I'm recording on, in the studio a different stream of revelation and I am teaching, I am teaching I am ministry so that there is, I can never lack something in the heart of God. Why? This is the secret engagement and growth. It, it, is, it is a secret of anybody who is recognized in heaven at the level of influence. It is a secret of anybody whose wings can cover another person. It is a secret of somebody who can carry another person. It is a secret. Constant. You don't need PhD to engage. You don't need primary school education. You just need the life of God that is available to all. And then the measure you measure for yourself is the level you will flow. A husband cannot flow for the wife. A wife cannot flow for the husband. It is something you personally engage. Okay, look at that scripture again. Look at that scripture again. Look at it. Said, it came up to my knees. The same principle came up to my waist. Have you seen that? Came up to my waist. Next verse. Next verse. And again, it measured 1,000. And it was a river. <laughs> Read that for me. Read that. Read from the beginning. Read it again. Again, did you hear the word again? Again is the secret. Fasting again. Studying again. Praying again. Fellowshipping again. Hearing again. Some people get healed, but there is no again. Some people get saved, there is no again. Some people get blessed, favored, there is no again. The secret is again. If you can apply the word, you wake up today and the first thing you say, again, again I fast, again I pray, again I study, again I run towards a place that I can receive inspiration from the word where I belong. Again, I engage, I engage my connection in the spirit. Again, if you wake up a day and make sure there is no day you wake up without again, and if after that you are intentionally trying to increase and making your again more and more beyond just being morning thing to being morning and any other time and when you have time morning and through and all of that depending on the time that is available to you if you will not stop mountain one day will be removed one thing about water ask Noah he reached a point that because water did not stop, mountains were swallowed. If your water will not stop, the thing, mountains are things that terrify you in height. If your water will not stop, one day, what used to be too high will be under. Stand up and speak in the Holy Spirit. Whatever you hear, speak in the Holy Spirit. Speak in the Holy Spirit. Rise and speak. Say, I cannot stop in my again. I cannot stop. I cannot stop until I am higher than mountain. Come on, come on, come on. I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I cannot stop until I am higher than the mountain. I cannot stop increasing. 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 I 
cannot stop increasing. Keep, keep, the, keep making those declarations. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Labra soto la kata, lebra sata. Today is your encounter of more. 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 Your encounter of more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be seated. It's like the Holy Spirit wants to talk to you this morning. Do you perceive that? Please pay attention. The greatest secret is being revealed to your spirit. The greatest secret. So just pay attention. We will pray when we reach that point. But the Holy Spirit wants to draw you into knowing something. Everyone who is extraordinary has a secret. And the secret is in the habit. Okay. I want to say it again. Everyone who is extraordinary in life has a secret. And the secret of that person is found in the habit of that person. What the person, habit is what somebody does repeatedly, always, without having to struggle. What has become part of the nature and the life of that person. The secret of every, anybody who is extraordinary, if you see an athlete, if you see an athlete, somebody who is physically very fit, and you know this is not about gene, it's not like he was born this way. You go, this is extraordinary body, body structure and all of that. This is so wonderful. There is a secret. And that secret is broken into habits. And in this spiritual thing, the habits of measuring again. The habits looking for different areas. I wish you measure again. See, sir, this is my call. I, let me make a confession. I'm expecting healing ministry. God has given me a healing ministry, healing pool. My call started in those areas. I have different streams of grace operating in my life. If you listen, you know, we don't really listen to testimony in Grace Family. If you listen to testimony of people just coming, sitting down in church, like in this fireplace, one or two days, people just get healed of diseases that could not be cured. And we have heard those things. Like a woman whose heart, a doctor confirmed, they were waiting for her to die. Heart atrophied. Everything had become hard. Everything. Medically, the doctor, the day she gave testimony, the doctor, they say, the next thing will have been death. And then she will come to Grace Family and just say, lay your hands wherever it is and speak. And she will do that. After some time, the heart returned to perfect normal. Everything. And she went back and the doctor could not believe it is true. Absolutely. I never met her, never touched her. All sorts of things happen. So when this, when God told me, start the fireplace, let me tell you what I expected. I said, oh, it is a time to, to start the ministry, the healing ministry, because I'm expecting a time will come that there will be a particular meeting, whether it's monthly, whether it's yearly or weekly, and it will be a healing ministry. I'm expecting, I cannot do it until I'm asked to, but I know it's a commission, it's a gift put in me. It's a treasure to be used, but the time has not yet come because I've not been told. So when this came, I thought, oh, this is it. And I kept listening. The Holy Spirit is telling me, no, the focus now raise mighty people. Turn ordinary people into what? So coming here to heal the sick and heal people doesn't make anybody mighty. Sincerely. I used to travel as a young evangelist in the Catholic church, as a Catholic priest, travel to places. There's no place I go and do. I, I do ministry retreat two, three, four, five days. So strange things will happen in people's lives. Serious, amazing ministries. I mean, amazing testimonies of healing. And so I was expecting we should start a meeting to do that. The Holy Spirit told me the commission right now, what is important is turn ordinary people into what? Champion. Sir, if you look through this scripture I've just shown you, it looks like the secret of it. This is the mystery of the fireplace. This is what this place is about. 
that every day you come, you are measuring. Am I communicating? You come to measure. And that inspires you to go home and keep your daily measuring. And next week you come again, refill, measure, measure. It is meant to raise mighty oaks. So a prophet will break up from this assembly. Oh no, I know. He will reach a time, the seat we are sowing now will break out in people, ordinary people sitting down who will operate in serious prophetic dimensions, serious healing dimensions, serious apostolic missionaries will, move from, will come out from this place that will just sit down here and receive a call that will take them to India, to different parts of the world. And they are not even people who are in our ministry team. Just ordinary people in church. That's the vision I have. Wealthy people will break out from here. Because the vision I'm told is to do what? Turn ordinary people into champions. Sir, it's a command. I cannot stop. And the grace in me is, why ask me for that? It's so natural for me. I am, I'm, I'm prepared for it. That's why I don't try to do things of sensation. To make things look like, to appeal. No, it must be you. It cannot be any other thing. We cannot use it. It must be you. And this is the secret. This is the secret. This is the secret. You see, again, he measured one. Again, say again. I didn't hear you say again. Be on your feet and shout it louder. Say again. That's it. Again, he measured 1,000 1, cubits and it was what now? A river. If you look at... Give me, put that away. We'll come back to that. Give me John chapter 7, verse 37. Should be John chapter 7, verse 37. 37, okay? On the last day. Can we read it together? I want to go. That great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Do you drink again? Are you thirsty again? Naturally, what keeps you alive is again in drinking. Is that not true? At the physical level, what is it that keeps you alive? Again in drinking. If you cease to drink one month, two months, three months, it's no longer life. Life has ended. So, the issue of the Holy Spirit as water is reduced to life. So, there are many believers who suffer and die of spiritual dehydration. You see them, their faces are cracked, lips are cracked. They are shriveled and shrunken. They are cranky. <laughs> That's it. No oil. No vitality. He said, Jesus, said, come and drink. See, see what he's talking about. Give me that scripture. Let him come to me and do what? Drink. If anyone is thirsty, and thirst is one thing, again, and again, and again. That's one thing about thirst. Again. Next, next verse. Everyone read. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart, Now, we are, we are still going to go back to that scripture in Ezekiel chapter 47. Do you see the connection now? There was a measuring until it became what? A river. And Jesus coming in the New Testament says, out of the believer, those who believe, he didn't say out of apostles. <laughs> he didn't say out of prophets. He didn't say out of out of um, pastors and teachers he said out of those who do what believe it is reduced to believe that means it's everyone say so what will happen there he didn't say they will be healed <laughs> he didn't say whoever believes in me will be healed that's not the, that's not the main thing he didn't say those who believe in me will have Everyone will have a house and a car and will be very wealthy. That's available to everyone in the world. Somebody who doesn't believe 
has access to those things. Everything, every other thing is accessible to every other person. The only thing that is accessible to a believer is this one. <laughs> this is it. Every other thing we preach in church, sir, people can have it without ever knowing God. Actually, those who are the wealthiest people on earth, if you check all of them, the least among them, who is a practicing Christian? Find out. Is Elon Musk a Christian? He's not. Jeff Bezos, is he a Christian? Okay. So find out in the rank. In Nigeria, the wealthiest person, are the wealthiest people, how many of them are Christian? So that means every time we reduce church to talking about things in terms of prosperity as if that is the main thing, is the greatest insult to the gospel. Is the greatest blasphemy against the sanctity of the call. Every time, can I tell you something? It, almost, almost every miracle, every, like every miracle that is worked by any, any mighty man of God can be repeated outside God. Outside God, cripples can, can rise. Outside God. The scripture talks about the beast in the book of Revelation that he would be given so, so much power to work miracles that even believers will be deceived. <laughs> Sir, the only thing that is not, it's not available anywhere else is the water, the living water. And this is the most boring thing in church. When you talk about life and talk about people, their rights, and their place, like what we are talking about today, for somebody, for some person, is this the fire place they were talking about? I was thinking people will be shaking and falling, anointing will fall everywhere, and all of those stuff. And all, so, <laughs> those things, anything can, anybody can do those things, if that is what he wants to do. What only few people who have understanding can do is this, and it's only Jesus, and those who receive this thing from Jesus. You cannot receive it by might. It can only be given to you. Sir, I didn't fast to have this understanding. It's been given to me. It's a commission. I was to turn ordinary people into what? God's champion. And the secret, this is the, this is what you, this is what you, when you come to fireplace, just know, if, if you have this understanding, everything is okay. Every other thing can happen. But God does not permit me to use any other thing. I have seen ministries before by the grace of us since 2000 from the earliest since 1994 29 years ago we started ministry by the grace of God so I've seen things but God has brought me to the time of telling me now it is mission and vision and so you are not permitted to do anything to do any other thing you just follow just read it again with me he wants to go he but listen to me as the scripture has said out of his heart will flow rivers of living water that's not all check next verse check next verse everyone <laughs> lift up your two hands speak in the Holy Spirit before we come back just say something say something say I want this river I want this water I want this river. I want this water. 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 I want just speaking the Holy Ghost. He said, I want this river. I want this water. I want this river. I want it. Say, Lord, reveal the mystery of this water. Reveal the mystery of this living river. Reveal this mystery to my spirit. Reveal this mystery. Say, Lord, reveal this mystery. Reveal this mystery to me. Reveal in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there somebody here who will want God to give him that water to drink today? Be seated, you will drink. Be seated, sincerely you will drink. The Holy Spirit prompts me to ask you this question. Just wait. In just 15 minutes, you will take water away, right? Get understanding first. Get understanding. He said, but this is spoke concerning the Spirit. Whom those 
believing in him would what? Receive. That means he was talking about the future. He was talking about us. He was talking about a time all those who will believe in him after he's been glorified. For the spirit, look at, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Is Jesus glorified? So this is it. Now, the New Testament is telling us that I was not telling you lies when I say the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Because there are preachers who don't understand basic, basic, basic things about the Scripture. So you hear there was a, a time a man of God talked about that the Holy Spirit, those who, who use the sign of the dove about the Holy Spirit and just really talk, 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 I laugh. He says, this man, you don't even understand what you're talking about. Only about once that the Holy Spirit, or twice that the Holy Spirit is revealed in the scripture in the symbol of a dove, each of those two times represents peace. And I don't have time to teach you. So dove is peace, right? So the Holy Spirit is peace, brings peace. And I don't want to go into that dimension. So dove is not the Holy Spirit, but is a symbol of the Holy Spirit in the dimension of what? Peace. Fire is not the Holy Spirit, but fire is the symbol of the mystery of power in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> because fire, fire, they, they cause trouble. When you bring the Holy Ghost into situations, uh, there will be trouble in the kingdom of darkness. That's what fire represents. And wind, call. so all of these things, they reveal the mystery of the dimensions of the power of the Holy Spirit. What of water? Basic life. This one, why does it say those who, those who believe will have the basic life that will become living river? L let's look at that scripture. Sir, when you talk about, he said, but, no, go back to verse 37. He, will, he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow what? Come on, will flow what? He didn't say it would flow water. So, river is for communities. I don't know. Am I communicating? When you talk about river, boats will pass through. There will be transportation. Then there will be irrigation. Then there will be fishing. Then there will be water for people. River. He said, from one believer river will flow it means because of you there will be irrigation dry places will bear fruits people will have business glory there will be fishing there will be there will be companies who draw water because when we were studying economics in those ways in those days we talked about the location of industri industrialization that what determine the location of industry is the availability of water. <laughs> this was in the 80s, sir. <laughs> so, just as he's saying, out of a believer will be source of industries. Industry. Whereas believers, you give them, just give somebody ordinary cleaning. Some people cannot clean well. They don't understand that they are the mystery by which there will be job creation. So if you cannot even handle the cleaning, how can you handle the river? The river by which others, that somebody meets you and somebody has a job because of just meeting you. Somebody meets you and a dry ground is irrigated and there can be planting, vegetation, seed, seeding, planting and harvesting by one believer now talk about the conglomerate of believers so when we say grace family commonwealth of what champion and i used to tell you that the vision god has given to me about church is that when the church is alive a crippled person will come into church for service he's not coming for healing but by stepping up as the conglomerates of living water begin to flow so a cripple when we say stand up Somebody will forget he was crippled and also stand up. And then realize, ah. Sir, so that's a vision I'm given. 
that's the vision I'm given. That's what God tells me. That's what I've been talking about for a long time. And I am, that's why I'm persistent. That I don't want, I don't want us to do things of fanfare. Somebody's life is what is demanded. And then we become a common wealth. And a blind person will come in and we say, look at the screen. And a blind person will also look at the screen. And now see, and begin to read. And you tell somebody, somebody who could not move their hand. He says, shake your neighbor's hand. And somebody also shakes their neighbor's hand. And also, also I can shake. Why? Because this is a pool of living water. Living rivers. Rivers of living water. So you come in. The, the, the aggregation and the concentration of this heavenly flowing experience will reverse every natural condition. And that is how, how many people come to Grace Family with depression. After some time, depression just disappears. And there is no daily laying hands or doing this. Why, sir? Living water cannot be flowing and I'm the one suffering. I don't worry about it. Just stay. Oh, that's your work. Just engage. Am I communicating? Rise now and speak in understanding. Rise and speak in the understanding. Rise, speak in understanding. Laka ta ta ta. Speak in understanding. Speak in understanding. Speak in understanding. Now that you understand, speak in understanding. Speak in understanding. Speak in understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Spirit still wants to tell you something. Should I stop at this point? Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Try and make sure you have this, this, the audio of this message. Listen to it until you can no longer listen to it. Listen to it every day. This is one of those things. Listen to it every day. Just make sure. Just get it in your device. However you get it. If you cannot go to Facebook or anything, engage the media. Just listen to it. Get it in your spirit. Wake up in the night every time. Just, just keep listening to this. This is the secret of your future. It's a secret, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ordinary people will change nations here. Yeah. Rise, let me prophesy. Let me prophesy. You standing in ordinary place. You are the candidate. From here, wealth carriers will take wealth to wealthy places. A time, Chris Oyakilome talked about in his ministry coming to an understanding that when he goes abroad, he will take money to those abroad. Sir, it's an understanding. In ministry, there are those who go to abroad to get money. In ministry, there are those who charter flights, charter jets, and go abroad to bless people and bless them with money. It is understanding. Depends on what you know. Sir, this is, this is my call. This is the understanding I have. From among you, Rivers of financial water. From among you, rivers of intellectual waters. From among you, rivers of wealthy waters. From among you, rivers of industrial waters. From among you, rivers of creative waters. Living creative waters, living financial waters, living industrial waters, living business waters. From among you, rivers of living prophetic waters. From among you, rivers of living apostolic waters. Sir, from ordinary people here shall be entrepreneurs who will inspire global entrepreneurs. Sir, every time I prophesy you think it's a boast, you are right. So if you see that, that sound boastful. It's too, it's too fantastic. Sir, it's true. 
So I cannot use the name of God and speak major things. I cannot use the so when I say entrepreneurs who will inspire entrepreneurs globally, sir. If that sound boastful, it was intended to sound that way. Why? Here we believe that God is almighty, and the least he begets is mighty. I'm sorry. If it is not for you, it's not my fault. I say God is what? Almighty. The least he begets is what? So God cannot beget anything less than mighty. So anytime I speak and I sound boastful, you are correct. I'm actually boastful. Until I met God, I didn't understand that there is anything valuable in boast. The word praise actually in the scripture means boast. So when we say praise God, it means let us boast about God. I just needed to help you. I said from among ordinary people standing here shall be advisors to presidents across the world. From ordinary people standing in this place shall be consultants to the wealthiest people on earth. That those who want to make it to the highest level shall meet as consultants those who have been made alive by the living water the rivers of the living water of Yahweh in the name of Jesus that from among you who came on the first anniversary of fire for more and overflow in the fireplace at this point, if you came with your children, can you lay hand in case I don't remember at the end? Or you just mention the name of your children because I want to do a generational transfer. Sir, this thing can be handed over. And you will tell me, but you are not even known. I say, it doesn't matter. Abraham was first of all told, don't answer Abraham again. Just answer Abraham. As at that time, there was no Isaac. Sir, there is nothing wrong if you have been called Abraham and one day they tell you you are no longer Abraham, that you are a father of nation, you cannot reject. Once you know you are a father of nation, start handing it over to others. Say, I hand over the father, the Abrahamic dimension. I am speaking over children here. From among you shall be scholars over scholars. From among you shall be inventors over inventors. From among you shall be the future of the changers of the future. From among you shall be the leaders of global leaders. I speak among you that a time is coming when something extraordinary is happening in a ministry it will be said is there somebody of commonwealth of champion in that person in that place I speak as seven fire you will affect the world by the seven fire of God you shall affect the world by the seven fire of God you shall affect the world I break down every limit in your spirit lift up your two hands say I break out from every limit I break out from local limits I break out from family limits I break out from communities limits from peripheral limits from territorial limits say I break out from regional limits I break out from national limits. I break out from international barriers. I break out from global barriers. Wherever barriers are, I break out. Say, I break out from mental barriers. I break out from mental barriers. Say, I break out from mental barriers. Say, I break out from emotional barriers. Say, I break out from intellectual barriers. Say, I break out from financial barriers. Say, you cannot hold me down. Nothing, nothing can hold me down. I break out, I break out, I break out from mysterious barriers. 
la la bori kapala ziteleketa la makandoto la katapala tata le kataya kanda lo sopre la kateando la basi prekata la masondo kopala kata le brato le nete kata la brakata ya kopelete mando tolo masi prekata la kata pali hindele ya labor lima sopre kata we break down boundaries who said you will not change things who said you will not break out by the holy ghost you are propelled you are propelled by the help of the holy ghost break out from sickness break out from weakness break out from uselessness break out from foolishness break out from laziness break out into prominence break out shall fall be seated be seated be seated take me back take me back to that Ezekiel 47 let's go on excursion Again, he measured 1,000 and it was a river. <laughs> a river. So, in the New Testament, a believer is equal to rivers of living water. Take me back. Take me back to that, is, that John chapter. Yeah. John chapter 7. He said, but take me back, take me back to verse. Uh, he who believes. <laughs> he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart, not out of their heart. So if Ezekiel chapter 47 looks looks too flamboyant and looks too outrageous then you are not a new testament person it's frightening to be a believer in christ if you knew who you are you will never accept to be a victim if you knew you will never be a beggar if you knew you will never look down on yourself he said of the believer he who believes in me as the scripture has said out of his heart will flow what yeah now when I from this moment you will no longer be angry with me for boasting for talking like and you look at me and I don't resemble it sir I am rivers and sir, give me time. I'm begging you. Just give me time. Sir, go back today with an understanding. I am rivers. You see, Jesus asked a demoniac, what is your name? Jesus Christ asked a man that was possessed, one man who, he said, sir, you possess man, what's your name? He said, I'm legion of we many. I am legion because we are many. I and we. I am we. If Satan can make one man we. Lakata, lakata, labrakata. Stand up and speak in the Holy Spirit. La brakata la kanda. Don't stop speaking. La la kata. Le makata. Lo kopele ati akanda. I am rivers. Libra. La kata. I am rivers. I am rivers. La katata. I am rivers. 
as you go make that confession I am rivers rivers of living water rivers Lakatata. rivers of living water Lastikata. I am rivers of living waters Lakatata. I am rivers of living waters Lakatata. I am rivers of living waters Labrakando Brelekata. I am rivers of living water. Prophesy, just speak. Speak to your mind, speak to your spirit. I am rivers. I am we. I am many rivers. How many rivers? Rivers. How many rivers? Rivers. I am rivers. I am continents. I am continents. I am continents. I am rivers. This call is rivers. This call is rivers. This call is is rivers le makataya la tata this call is rivers lo makapali asikata this call is rivers lo brakata la kata this call is rivers rivers flowing this river flow now in australia in new zealand in samoa in tonga in all the islands of Oceania, this river flow in the Americas, in Canada, USA, Mexico, the whole of North America, in Guatemala, Guatemala in Panama, and all of Central America. This river flow in Chile, Argentina, Brazil and the whole of Southern America. This river flow in China, in India, uh, in Singapore, in Malaysia, and the, in Japan, and the whole in Korea, in Korean Peninsula, and the whole of Asia. This river flow flow in Russia and the Caucasus and the Baltics and the Scandinavian and the Mediterranean of Europe flow in the whole of Europe this river flow in Saudi Arabia the whole of Islamic nation in Iran Iraq in Jordan and the whole of Middle East flow in Zion, Jerusalem, and the whole of Israel. This river flow in the north of Africa, in Algeria, in Morocco, in Libya, flow in Tunisia, and the whole of the north of Africa. Flow in Zimbabwe, in Botswana, flow in South Africa, and the whole of South Southern Subregion of Africa. This river flow in Kenya, in Tanzania, flow even in the horns of Africa. Flow flow in Somalia, flow in Uganda and the whole of eastern sub-region of Africa. This river flow in Congo, flow in Cameroon, flow in Central African Republic, and the whole of Central sub-region of Africa. Oh, this river flow from Burkina Faso, flow in Liberia, flow in Togo, flow in Ghana, flow in the whole of Nigeria, and the whole of the western sub-region of Africa. Oh, this river flow in the northeast of Nigeria, in the northwest of Nigeria, in the north central of Nigeria. 
this river flow in the southwest, in the southeast. This river flow in the Do Delta, Bayasa rivers, cross river, and Kwai The whole of South South. This river begin to flow in the Ikono. Ikono, when you go to Karika, Senora, who cannot find it to make more. A back or one and oh, and the whole of Ikono, when a senatorial district of a Kwai Oh, this river flow, flow in Ikono Basi. Even on Parini, no, na eket, es reket. Ureforu kumbo orono kobo, and the whole of Eket Senatorial District of Akwaba State. Oh, this river flow, flow in Nsribo, Nsrubio, Nsratai, Ibe Sikwa Sultan Ibionibo Metina, Itu Uruan Uyo, and the whole of Uyo Senatorial District. Oh, this river flow, flow from GFCC, flow from among the men, flow from among the women, flow from among the children, flow from among the youth, flow, Lord. From ordinary people, rivers, rivers flow, flow financially, flow prophetically, flow evangelically, flow apostolically, flow entrepreneurially, oh, flow mechanically, oh, flow engineeringly, legally in every profession, river flow. River flow, la kata kata. Si laibi, come on, baby, come. But the bread of the spirit, flow in la brakata. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Le brakata ya kata kata kata. Malaboshi brakata. Loso todo kata kata. Malakata la kata. Say, I am not alone. In Christ, I am living rivers. I am living rivers. I am rivers of living water. Say, I am we. I am many. I am we. I am many. I am we. I am conglomerates of living water. I am conglomerates of rivers from, from the heart of that person, from the heart of the believer, from the belly of the believer, shall flow rivers, 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 rivers. Yeah, I had promised you that if you want, you will drink. So, if you still want, you will drink. Yes, I don't want you to forget, pay attention. I don't want you to go emotionally. You can come to a meeting like this and go, you feel good but you don't carry it. Now, in the New Testament, we have discovered what we were laboring to establish in Ezekiel. And in the New Testament, it is blown out of proportion. Jesus Christ didn't say rivers, like three rivers, or five rivers. The fact is, say, out of the one who believes, out of, let's go to that scripture. He said, he who believes in me, he, she, as the scripture has said, out of who? individual not husband and wife individual out of that one person who believes his own heart is hard when the scripture says guard your heart with all diligence from out of it flows the issues the heart out of his heart when the word, when Bible, whether in the Old Testament or New Testament, uses the word heart, it embraces the mind also. Okay, it's, it's completely spirit. Out of his heart can be said out of his spirit. His own spirit will flow. Read it. Now, 
Let me take you to where we started. If it is rivers without qualification, like three rivers, now, the number of rivers that can flow out of you now depends on your measurement. Be seated. Be seated. The Holy Spirit does not permit me to allow you to go emotional. You will not go emotionally today. Today is not an emotional day. I told you, normally for a fired place, is the easiest ministry I do. Why? I don't need to plan. I don't need to prepare message. I sit in the presence. After sitting and having conversation, if he tells me, this is what you will say, I take note. If he does not tell me, I don't worry. If I want to just satisfy myself, I take one scripture and put it as the day. And when I come and lie down here, by the time I get up and speak, by that I open the file of the day. And I take. So I ask him, this anniversary, what are we going to do? And there was no response. So I knew when I come, we'll take, we'll take it from there. So for the first time, we are revealing what we do here on Monday. For one year, I've not been given words to express. So today, don't forget. That means the day you come here, you know what you are coming into. And you're, what, you know what you are coming to do. And you know who you are. Who you are expected to be over time. Let's go back to that Ezekiel 47. Let's do verse 3. Let's do verse 3, 4. Give me verse 4, 5 down. Okay, when that, no, no, yeah. again, he measured 1,000. Brought me through the waters. The water came up to my knees. Again, the waters came up to my waist. Verse 5. Again. Did you see that? Again. Measure 1,000. And it was now what? A river. A river. Very particular. So in the Old Testament, the oppression of Elijah and Elisha, a river. Every operation of anointing in the Old Testament is summarized with this. What? A river. So when Jesus Christ said, he who believes in me shall do the things that I do and will do greater things because out of his heart will flow what? Rivers. Now you can understand the insult of limiting the gospel to talking about your sickness. Talking about the wish that troubles you. Limiting the gospel to talking about your house. Receive khaki. And it looks like what takes you to church. You can see the insult. Whereas the commission is turn that person who who needs to be delivered from a witch into what? Rivers. That out of the heart of that one person will flow what? Rivers. Now, rivers of what? It didn't say rivers of water. It says rivers of what? Living water. I don't need to wait for next week to let you know what that means. Living water means the water that makes things alive. So when we say God is, God says, the scriptures say God is the living God. I am the living God. It means the God who makes life possible. It means if you bring death and throw death into me, I make what was dead into life. And so when we now reduce gospel to solving your little problem without making you and not making you a solution to global problem. It now becomes the reduction of eternity into a second. Making what is endless in proportion into what can be captured in a pocket. Don't forget this. If you have destiny. Let's go back to that Ezekiel. You say, go back, go back. The secret is in what? Measure. Measure. Talks about engagement. Our project this month shall be to take you through the river 
of Ezekiel chapter 47. There are hidden treasures. That's what we'll uncover this month. This month of anniversary will be month of treasures. Sincerely. So all we do, we shall come to measure and find out what we see in that river. You multiply it by rivers. Remember, from you will come what? Rivers. But the river is a specimen for us to study. Usually the word in science, when you hear the word specimen, is one thing to study all. You know, <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but you know, I have insight into a little, few things. When you hear specimen, it is one thing that gives us insight into all. So we shall be looking at this river in Ezekiel chapter 47, everything you see there is multiplied by rivers. Now, by your level of engagement, you can make rivers into billion rivers. That's why I say, if you don't stop flowing, if you don't, so you now choose whether you'll be two rivers. Two rivers means you can operate, in, you can operate as an intercessor and just make wealth and you don't go beyond that some people just carry anointing all they do is to see they see witches see people's phone number just see who is going to die they don't understand that there is another river to stop things that you see from happening and causing things that you see to happen so they say, I see, whenever I see somebody dead, it's not always good. Though. The person must surely come to pass and die. Sir, there is another river among the rivers that after you see that accident is about happening, then you activate the other river to stop the dead. To stop the accident. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, talk to me, come, talk to me, talk to me. We don't, we don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. So let's adjourn. Let's, let's, can somebody move a motion for adjournment? No, no, no. I have to. It's five minutes. Rise. <laughs> Celebrate the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Celebrate the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Celebrate the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Celebrate the Holy Ghost! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ! This is how we end. We have to drink. You have to go back drinking something. Glory to God. And just because whoever believes. Yes, I believe. I believe. He didn't say whoever fast and pray. You have to first of all believe before you start engaging. The measurement is in the fasting, is in the praying, is in the fellowship. But it starts with what? Belief. And he didn't say whoever believes in the living water. He said whoever believes in me. So lift up two hands. All eyes closed. I know many of you here, you have known the Lord, you have walked with the Lord. But I want you to speak your faith like you are believing for the first time. He told me this morning to send to partners, behold and make all things new. God wants to make old believers to see things new. Everyone in this place, if you are here and there is any guilt in your heart, there is any evidence in your heart that you are not at peace with him, just let it go by repentance. Just confess. Just call the blood of Jesus Christ. Accept the finished work on the cross for anyone. And as a believer, reaffirm your faith in the finished work. Everyone say with me, say Jesus Christ. Everyone say, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in you. I believe you took my place on the cross. To pay the price for my sin so that I can live your life on earth so you took my place on the cross and you you paid for my sin on the cross having repented of my sin 
I now receive you as the life I live now. Say, so Lord Jesus Christ, I receive you as the life I live now. The life I live now. The righteousness I have now is you, Jesus Christ. The peace I have now with the Father is you, Jesus Christ. I believe in you as my Lord and my Savior. I have given you the whole of me. I now live by the whole of you. Give me your spirit to drink. That living water. 